Come back just a little more. Good. towards me like uh, hold it back towards you too much It's Ryan and I am in the T7 315 from Carl F. Stotts Implement in Wanakee, Wisconsin and we are going to be hauling in grain with my Brent grain cart. Now um, we're heading down to Travis's place today. We got about 80 acres to go down there and um, it's late October. Um, I think it's like the 28th and we are pushing crunch time for beans because I have about 2,000 bushels of beans to go out yet and um, those are due Tuesday. I'm not totally sure if, depending on how fast the ground dries out, uh, whether we'll get those in by then. But um, we're gonna be doing corn this morning because the ground is still too wet to do beans. But down there, uh, it should be, should be ready to go. And uh, the corn moisture's been sitting pretty good. Um, we've been harvesting right around 15, uh, what it is today, who knows. So um, yeah, we're gonna put this baby to some work. And we got everything hooked up to the Brent, and the hydraulics are all set up, and the lights work and everything, and it was basically just plug and play. So uh, we're all gonna head down there and start harvesting. Now that had to have been the easiest I've ever flown in line with the combine while loading on the go. Because uh, it's just something about the variable transmission where all I have to do is just pull back on the stick and pull it pull back on it until ground a little bumpy. Until uh, I'm going the right speed. And that's really, really nice. So now I'm heading back to meet Travis at the buildings down here. Um, He's hauling back to the farm with M&W Wagon into the 20,000 bushel grain bin because last night we topped off the 10,000 bushel bin and we had some co corn contracts to fill so we hauled out a bunch of loads from the 20,000 bushel bin. So this way we can haul out corn over the weekend, make things a lot easier. Well, here's Travis now. So I'm gonna dump into him and he's gonna head back up there.
have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I just came back from way back in the field back there, and when I was in here last time, I thought, you know, this is getting really tiring, just going on the same path all day long. So I'm like, I wonder if I could set the GPS, GPS up to automatically take me back and forth. So I made a path from here all the way back to the field, and then I finished it, I loaded up, and I started on my way back, and I got on this red line here, and um, I hit the auto steer button, and it took over everything on its own. It went through two gates, not just one, but two gates, and the first one was really, really narrow, and it went around tight turns and everything, and it didn't cough up once at all. I mean, I didn't have to correct it. It, it literally brought me right to where I'm sitting, and all, all on its own. So I'm definitely gonna have to play with that some more tomorrow. Um, I'll run you guys through how, through that some more. So um, this is gonna be our last load for the night. And uh, I'm waiting on Travis right now. Dad just quit. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. So I'll see you next time.